Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, first, want to express my appreciation for, for all who are gathered. Uh, we are here uh, because of an event, an unfortunate event, uh, that took place on this past uh, Monday evening, uh, where the owner of King Street Laundry and Dry Cleaner, uh, Mr. Clinton Crick, made a racially charged statement directed towards Desalyn McFadden. And we are here, number one, because of the wrongness of the statement and the harm that it has caused. We've got um, Desalyn McFadden that's here uh, with us, along with her mom, uh, Ms. Julia Graham, uh, other community leaders. There's Council Member Sam Floyd here. Uh, representatives of the NAACP, Joe Castle, former President Joe Brown, uh, Mayor Charlie Fulton, and also, well, I don't know what title to give him, he's our former Chief of Police, our Magistrate, and our former Supervisor, Richard Cream. We also have our Supervisor and our Sheriff and our Chief of Police and Don Harvey in the back. And there are other persons from our community uh, who are here uh, because we are one community uh, one people and we love and we care for each other and what was displayed on this past Monday is not I believe indicative of the folks here in Williamsburg County and so I'm going to ask Mayor Charlie Fulton to come with a brief prayer and then we'll hear from Desalyn McFadden and there's one other announcement that we'd like to make um, and that will simply conclude uh, the reason why we are here so Mayor Fulton if you would come at this time please let us pray. Father God, we come now and give you thanks for our gathering. We thank you, dear Lord, for how you look down upon us, blessing and keeping us, dear Lord. And Father, Lord, we pray that God to move in this county right now. Father, there are so many things that has divided us, dear Lord. But Lord, we know that you're able to bring us together. And Father, we pray that God that you heal all wounds, dear Father. And Lord, we ask your blessing that you Unite us as one people. It's not a blessed way to so Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hey everybody. First, I would like to say thank everybody for all the support that's been given and shown to me as well as my family. The words that were spoken to me on Monday were probably some of the most hurtful words I've, I've experienced this far me and my family has been affected by this. I have been affected by this as so in that town as well. This town has been affected. We are asking for your prayers and to continue to uplift us and come together as a town, not as separate colors. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you know, the maturity uh, that this lady has shown is obviously a testament to her, her mom and her dad and, and her church family and others who supported her and helped her to grow and develop all over the years. Let me speak to a point real quick. She talked about the idea of the word, uh, the N-word, uh, being used and the impact that it has on her. There are many of us who continue to believe that not many people understand what that word represents. It's simply not a word, but it brings back some of the horrors of our past. Back in the days when to, to be black was almost a crime in America. Uh, to be black, you were subject to being hung. Uh, to be black, you were subject to being beaten. To be black, you were simply less than anything else uh, that almost walked the face of this earth. And so just know that when the word is used, it is simply not a word that follows on deaf ears. It's a word that brings about emotions that needless to say are more than unpleasant. I'm reminded of what Joshua said when confronted with this notion of who is it that the people will serve. And Joshua was, was not able to speak for people. He simply said, as for me and my house, we will worship the Lord. 
And so I challenge those of you out there, people of goodwill, to say that I don't know what others will utter behind closed doors, but as for me and my house, we won't use the N-word to refer to black people. As for me and my business, we won't be about the business of taking the money uh, from black folks, but then yet the second they turn their back, talking about them in derogatory ways. So here's what we've got. We've got an opportunity to come together in Williamsburg County and simply say with one resounding voice, several colors of people, several different nationalities, but to speak with one voice is that there is no place in Williamsburg County for racial bigotry, uh, for the use of the N-word as it refers to people of color. And here's how I believe we do it. This coming Saturday, we're gonna gather somewhere between 9.30 and a quarter of 10 over at the old Tomlinson building with the idea in mind of participating in an anti-hate rally. Let me say that again, an anti-hate rally where all of the people of this county will come together and say in one resounding word, word that's not how we treat each other, that's not how we think about each other, and certainly that's not how we talk about each other. The essence of it is that there is an opportunity to say to Mr. Crick, that's not who we are. That might be who you are. That's not how we speak. That might be how you speak, but the vast majority of people in our county are not that way. And so we are thankful for uh, Joe Castle and other members of the NAACP uh, for organizing uh, this event. And I would hope that persons of goodwill, of all colors, of all nationalities, would join in this moment when not only are we experiencing racial unrest in South Carolina, in the United States of America, but there's racial unrest all around this nation. It's an opportunity for us to be a part of the positive voice in terms of what we can actually be when we truly come together. And so I wanna thank the members of the media, um, uh, those who are local, who we absolutely love, and then those who are official, uh, who we love as well. And so I uh, believe that concludes uh, all of our comments. Mr. Castle, do you wanna take any quick questions? All right, so uh, that pretty much concludes everything. So thank you all for being here, and I hope uh, that all of your listening audiences, and as many as who can, uh, would come and support uh, this young lady and her family and show her uh, that there's nothing that she did uh, other than be black uh, that caused that kind of term to be used in the manner in which it, it was used. Bear with me one moment. I want to consult with uh, Joe Brown just for a second. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, uh, Joe Brown just reminded me of what we're doing right now, and that is wearing masks in order that we might continue to protect each other from each other. And so we're asking that everyone who comes and participates, please, ma'ams and sirs, wear a mask. And we're going to practice as, as best we can uh, the idea of social dis uh, distancing because we know that we have two pandemics in America. Uh, one of the pandemic is COVID-19. The other pandemic is racism. And we've got an opportunity to do something about both. Thank you all and God bless.